lesson. Today we are going to look at a uh, house fry. A house fry is a gray bodied, gray colored bodied insect with black strips on the thorax. It has uh, a body which is gray in color and it has uh, black stripes on the thorax that is one of the characteristics of a house fly the body is covered with a short hair uh, almost every part of the body if you look at it it is covered with uh, hair the abdomen if you look at the legs and if you look at the thorax, it has a hairy body. There are short hairs that are on each part of the body. And um, another significant characteristic that is uh, very conspicuous is that uh, it has a pair of large compound eyes. If you look at the uh, housefly, one of the things that you cannot fail to observe is the pair of the large compound eyes. Then it also has a short antenna. The antennas are very short. That one you can also observe it. Then uh, it has a mouth part which is a sucking mouth part or the proboscis. It has a proboscis and uh, its proboscis is mainly for sucking. The body is divided into segments and the uh, thorax has three segments. And each segment has a pair of legs. So as we are saying that the body is divided into the head, the thorax and the abdomen but still the thorax is divided into three segments and each of these segments has a pair of legs then uh, if we look at its leg it has cross and uh, this cross in the middle it has uh, in the middle of the cross it has a sticky pad these two help the insect to move upside down using the sticky pads and also to move into slippery substances and rough substances by use of crows uh, so it has the crows and it has the sticky pads uh, when it comes to the wings, the wings are on the second thoracic segment. That's where we find the housefly wings. They are placed on the second thoracic segment. Those are the wings. And uh, the wings are transparent and they have uh, a network vein network veins you can see that they you can see through the wings and there is a network type of veins those are the wings of the housefly and uh, it also has halters on the third thoracic segment the wings are on the second thoracic segment and uh, the halters are on the third thoracic segments. The halters, these are short uh, form of wings which uh, are used for balancing. Well as the wing, the main wings are on the second thoracic segment. These ones are used for flying. Then the abdomen is short. It has, a, of course, the insect has a short abdomen but the abdomen is divided into four segments now if you look at the housefly you will see that 
it has the antennas, it has the compound eyes, it has a, a simple eye in the middle of the head at the back towards the thorax, it has a simple eye, it has the wings which are transparent with a lot of network veins, mm, it has um, the halters, the halters are used for balancing and it has an abdomen which is divided into four segments and it is very short so those are some of the characteristics of the house fry that we have seen that it has a body which is gray colored in gray form and uh, with black stripes on the thorax it uh, has uh, a body that is covered with short hair it has a large pair of compound eyes they have short antennas it also has a proboscis which is used for sucking it has crows and sticky parts which helps it to move upside down and then also to move on slippery substances it has the wings on the second thoracic uh, segment and uh, the wings are transparent and with a lot of uh, network uh, veins and then it also has halters the halters are on the third thoracic uh, segment and the abdomen is very short and divided into four segments now if you look critically on the head at the head of a uh, uh, house fry the things that uh, you are going to be able to observe with your own eyes is the compound eye you will be able to see the antennas you'll be able to see the pulps and then you will also see the proboscis those are the major features that are on the head there is the compound eyes there are the antennas there are the pulps and then there is proboscis now if you look at the legs the leg is divided into four sections we have the upper section which we call the coxa and then the coxa connects to the femur but before you go to the femur the femur the tip of the femur and the end of the coxa are joined together but there is a small covering which is between the two and that is what we call the crochata then uh, when you go beyond the femur you have uh, the tibia and after the tibia you go to the tassel now you then you go to the cross and in the cross there is what we call a lorium a lorium which is in the middle and uh, in the middle where we have the sticky pads we also have the glandular pads those glandular pads are the one that produce the sticky substances yeah, where the uh, allorium, marorium is uh, between the cross so we want now to look at the life cycle of the housefly uh, how does it go through its uh, generation life processes uh, carrying on one generation to generation you'll find that um, the breeding takes place on decomposing materials and uh, after 15 to 24 hours the eggs will hatch into the larva which is the maggot that is after 15 to 24 hours and uh, the maggot will mount three times it will mount three times and the maggot is the lava stage of the, 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 the housefly life cycle and um, this lava stage which is the maggot will pupate after four days and uh, when it pupates in the pupate state stage or stage the internal reorganization takes place in the pupa there is an internal reorganization in the pupa and uh, when this organization takes place you find that after nine days in the pupa stage uh, the pupa is going to develop into an adult or what we call the imago is going to emerge from the pupa stage and uh, the fly will unfold its wing and then it will fly off and uh, after 12 days the life cycle again begins again so we are seeing that uh, 
the life cycle of a housefly undergoes four stages and therefore we say that it undergoes uh, metamorphosis and uh, com that is complete metamorphosis uh, we say that the beginning that breeding takes place on decomposing materials and after 15 to 24 hours uh, the egg the eggs are going to hatch and when they hatch they will turn into the larva which is the maggot and the maggot uh, mouths mouths three times and uh, the lover will pupate after four days and uh, when it pupates now the internal reorganization takes place in the pupa and after nine days we are going to get an adult which is going to emerge out of the pupa stage and that is the imago and then it will fly and unfold and uh, it will take off and flies off and then after 12 days again we repeat the life cycle so that is all we can talk about the house fry we have seen the characteristics of the house fry we have seen uh, the body parts what are included in the body parts and then we have also seen the life cycle of a house fry please thank you for being with us stay with us as we continue.